playing. Shall I do my, my, my big one of the week? Oh. Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings on Wii, this is a prepared statement, is shit. <laughs> so, so, so that's why we haven't gotten reviews, review copies then, huh? So I'm sitting, yeah. with, uh, I'm sitting with Victor Lucas on the bus from Nintendo to Sony's press conference, and he's like, man, I can't wait for Indiana Jones to come out. It's going to be great. And, you know, he like, we got this big conversation about how, you know, the Indiana Jones is such a good property for a video game. And, and This game would have been bad if it had been released in 1999. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> Sony Online, what were they called? Uh, Sony uh, Image Works games were better than this game. Remember the fucking cliffhanger game? It was more fun than this oh piece of crap. God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, so I told him, I was like, dude, I think you may be better, like, just, you know, rein in the expectations a little bit. And, and it's contrary to what had been stated, that Fate of Atlantis is unlock is like right there, right from the beginning. No, you have to do one glory move in the indie game before it'll let you unlock. <laughs> wait, wait, glory move? Glory There's move? the glory <laughs> move <laughs> that you have to do. Does it involve a hole? No, but the one I did was I threw an octopus at somebody, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that's what right, unlocked Fate of Atlantis. I all. am not making this up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's some redeeming value there. So, in every level of the game, except yeah. the the torturously long tutorial, which seems to go on forever, where I think it's the same guy that did Indy's voice in Fate of Atlantis is doing his Harrison Ford impression, yeah. and he's telling you how to do the combat, and they talk you through every punch with the right hand and every punch with the left hand. This is what I don't understand. When you're making your game. You know it's shit before it's getting right. released. But there's definitely this tutorial mode is for all the stupid people out there. <laughs> Doing the same thing with the nunchuck, bizarrely, has the same effect. But you know what, for shitty games like that, if they offered like a Mystery Science 3000 option for DLC... I'd buy it just to make fun of it. <laughs> but the thing is, so it starts off and it's like it's doing this like holding you by the hand. We're going to tell you how to do everything. And you're like, and it's like it's practically on rails. You have no freedom at all. Yeah. You're funneled down this tiny little tunnel throughout the entire game. And then after it's finished teaching you how to fight and pick things up and scratch your ass and everything else that he does, it then goes into the most difficult, like, biplane through a canyon shooter I have ever played. God, it's a gribble <laughs> Where the only way to play it is you have to hold the base of the Wii remote, because it, it wants you to hold the thing like a stick. Oh, fun. And then yeah. pull the yeah. pull the trigger yeah. to fire things. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's, like, really vague <laughs> and, like, you're in this, like, really cramped like, ravine being chased after by Nazis in biplanes. <laughs> so after being, like, yeah, That's we're gonna Indie. We're going to tell you how to do everything, and then we're going to make like we we'll do this five-minute on-rail shooter that's like going to take you forever to get through, and then the whole thing is like scripted, sequenced. If you don't know what it wants you to do, or you weren't picking up on the vibe that it was trying to give you, you don't have a hope in hell of working out what it wants you to do. <laughs> well, rewind, rewind me a little bit here. So, Stanley Kings is is a third. It's third it's a third-person quick time event. Basically, <laughs> okay. And is it is it a, 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 is all original story? Yeah. And it's set. <laughs> it's set. Is it is it? Hold on, I'm, I'm sure to mispronounce this word too. Is it canonical? Yeah, yeah. Because it, uh, it it uh, it comes in. I think it's between three and four. Okay. But why are they in biplanes? Because three was in like the thirties, late thirties, early forties. Uh, weird. Dude, yeah, because they still had leftover biplanes, okay? Or it might be between two and three. I don't know. It's between two movies because he references because uh, two, two actually takes place before one. Yeah, there's, there's the dur during a fight he references fighting with a guy in front of a plane propeller at some point. Oh, okay. So, so he's, that, he actually refer he references the events in Raiders. Okay. Um, and but so the 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 the, the most annoying part. So there's. There's a, I have a most annoying So part? far, a most annoying part. You're running through uh, this Chinatown location um, where this girl that you have to find is being carried on the shoulder of this, like, you know, Chinese guy who's wearing the, you know, the red, because it's all stereotypical, you know. <laughs> we did that in the last indie game right. as well. So you're chasing after this girl, and it's basically a bunch of scripted events with a bunch of fights in between, where it's, it, it keeps, like, making you run and then and then locking you into a little, like, Power stone -y kind of combat thing. Yeah. So much so that there's one point just after this where a guy moves a piano in front of the <laughs> stairs to lock you into the room, <laughs> and then the door catches fire behind you. <laughs> this is where 
fly through the octopus at the guy. Yeah. <laughs> of course. There's a fish, of course. There's a fish tank, ah. and actually, when you when you go to the pause menu, it says that one of the glory hole moves is that if you throw... If you, you just you, called it a glory <laughs> hole move. That's that what they it, want you to call it. That if you... Uh, well, there's actually, one of them is called a pole punch or something. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> but, so, yeah, but these guys have a sense of humor. It's, it's, a, it's a to M. I mean, like they they have a sense of humor. We know this just from the name. That's much better than the knob headbutt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, wow. Where was I? Anyway, so you, you you're running down this alley with and the guys chasing and he's got the girl on his shoulder and then he keeps locking you into these tiny little fight zones and then you get to the alley and he runs down the steps and up until this point you have followed this guy everywhere that he went. <laughs> So he runs down the steps to a door, which is just a solid object. So then you're locked into this little L-shaped part of alley, and everyone's dead and has disappeared. And there's a bunch of just junk on the ground like that you know, he can pick up and he can use it as a weapon. Which, incidentally, also interferes with any of the actual things that you want to do in the game. Like, do you want to open the door, or do you want to pick up this trash can right? lid uh. that's right in exactly the trigger point for the door? Oh, God. You know? <laughs> so... Instead of following the guy down the door, what you have to do is move this box that you don't know can be moved, because up until this point, it has done nothing to imply that there might be <laughs> things that you can move. It's not glowing or anything? Yeah, there's no... Yeah. And, like, whip a fire escape, crawl up the wall, and then smash through a window that's behind the box. So, of course. Of course. Completely right. different yeah. to any gameplay mechanic <laughs> yeah. that it has introduced up to this point. Yeah. You're Indiana fucking Jones. Why so, don't you kick the door in? So, like, you just sort or of... shoot the door. So, for a while, you're just running around going, what the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> I'm like... I, and the camera's shit as well. Like, <laughs> so you're like, I haven't played a game that's made me feel this annoyed for so long. <laughs> so Jeez. You're like really working through some issues here. I like I it. I fucking hate it. It's Man, terrible. I, I bet what, uh, what all the other games you played this week, like this was the palate cleanser, so everything else was fucking amazing. Yeah. Oh my God, Red Faction. I mean, it has its problems, but after this... <laughs> you're like a genius. Although, although a plus. in Red Faction, I'm very disappointed that I can't throw any kind of, you know, octopus. Oh, well, of course not. <laughs> it's Mars. People. So do you at least get to whip with the Wiimote? You get to Does whip, so there's a lot of sort of like... And whipping is part of the combat, so depending on how you... It's all a bit vague, and in the tutorial it makes it seem like it's like really specific, but it's, right, but it's, it's just... You just hit a button and shake the controller and he does something with the whip. And he'll either like whip the guy's feet and you can pull their legs out from under them. If it, if it was well done, it would be awesome. R okay. That's that's all I wanted to ask. I mean, you already answered the question. It's such a poorly designed game. Doesn't it sort of seem like Indiana Jones should have been this almost almost you have to work to fuck it up sort of thing? For exactly. Weed? Right. It should I mean, be like games with Jedi in them. It's the same right. kind of thing. Like it's pretty hard not to feel like a badass, but you feel like such a putz throughout the entire thing. We're, and then oh. there's a lot of like so there's like now you're using it as a stick to control the plane, and now you're and now it's a gun with a thing on the screen where there's a thing moving by on a crane which miraculously is always in front of the guy that you want to shoot because it doesn't really want you to shoot the guy it wants you to blow something else up it's a cinematic moment it's a cinematic but it's moment. not it's just shit <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean literally to the point where I'm like that's it I'm not playing this anymore fuck you like, yeah, it was yeah. like a